Hey everyone, this is Anurag Ray from PestRumorWarrior.com and in this video I am going to talk about why dogs have itchy skin. Now before you continue this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can receive updates about my videos when it is uploaded and also help my channel grow. Now we have noticed that dogs have itchy skin. This is a pretty common problem in dogs, especially the street dogs. Now they are seen to be itching most of the time and do, we don't really know why they do it. Especially the most commoners don't really know what why they do it, but they do it quite often. But this itchy skin is not really good for dogs and there are a few reasons why this occurs, especially in the street dogs. Now let's get started with the reasons. The number one reasons are parasites. Now there are a lot of different kind of parasites that can get inside the dog body like ticks, worms that can start infecting and they can have itching because they will try to get rid of those uh, parasites from their body and in the process they can have itching. Now uh, these parasites like the ticks can actually suck their blood and when some things like ticks start sucking their blood automatically creates a itching sensation in the body and the dogs, uh, and the street dogs especially actually starts to itch themselves when they feel that feeling. Now this, these ticks can come from a lot of different kind of places like from near the trees and from different kind of bushes the, but the dogs uh, the, especially the street dogs are seen to be going around those kind of places and they usually get those kind of infections and these ticks are specifically target this kind of animals they are not really that harmful to humans they don't come off to humans and start sucking in blood so dogs and the cats also become a victims of these uptakes and they start sucking their blood now because of them the dogs can have anemia and that can lead to a lot of different kind of problem however the dog is unable to remove these ticks from their body because these ticks just keeps on growing and we if you have a pet dog in your house or if you have a street dog that you are feeding then make sure that you are checking for the ticks it's a really common problem however the dogs are not able to get rid of the ticks because they don't have any way to do so these ticks stick to their body so hard that the dogs are unable to remove in most cases and they grow in numbers which creates a lot of different kind of problems and eventually hair loss so make sure if you see ticks in your dog's body, they get rid of the ticks and also other parasites. Now there are different kind of parasites out there and they have different kind of treatment. The ticks can be removed using a tweezer or sometimes you can use the hand. However, I remove, I ask you to use the tweezer because that's a much better way to remove them because you don't want the ticks body pad to get stuck in the animal's body because that can create a lot of problem. And the other hand, if there are different kind of parasites out there, they can they will need a different kind of treatment because not all of the parasites can be removed by your hands or not all of them can be seen but they are really small and they start to create a lot of different kind of problems in the dog's body. So removing them requires a special kind of medicine that are available in the market but first for that in order if you see that your dog is itching you must visit a doctor and look at your dog and they will give you the right treatment for that parasite. They will identify the reason what's causing it and they will if it's a parasite then they will give you the treatment and that will cure the dog from most of the itching. Now, if you have street dogs, you have to cannot take the dog, but you can definitely tell the symptoms to your nearby doctors, or if you have uh, some kind of stores from where you can buy dog medicine, you can ask them about the dog and, and tell the symptoms, and from them you can get the medicines. I have personally tried it a few times, and I have seen them to be very effective. So you can definitely try it without much of worries. The second thing that creates itching in the dog's body is infection. Now, dogs can have different kind of infection for different kind of reasons. Now, that's because of it, the dogs can, especially the street dogs, like in most cases, these are the street dogs who becomes the victim. They go to different kind of places and they sit at different kind of places. They can get various kinds of infections from bacteria and also different kind of things. So, uh, because of that, the dogs can also start losing his skin. And if that starts happening, then the dog will suffer. And if that can also be another cause but it won't be able to identify it so again you have to visit a, a doctor who can treat the dog or else you can just bring some medicine usually the medicines treats a lot of different kind of thing they also kills the bugs or if that is necessary and also uh, there can be some ointments or there can be some uh, powder like substance that you need to put on the dog's body that will get rid of the infection from his body so there are different kind of treatments for different kind of disease but you need to specify what kind of problem you are seeing if you are seeing different kind of patches around the dog body the most of his hair has started to go off then still there are symptoms to your doctor or to 
the uh, nearby vet nearby store from where you're going to buy the medicine and they will give you a pretty good amount of medicine because they also have the knowledge to do so however i always recommend to see a checkup with the pet doctor because they are really uh, the veterinarian because they are really use good at this and should always get a proper checkup if your dog is really suffering and uh, along with that will give you a different treatment now when the tick starts infesting is it gives a different kind of symptoms however when the this infection starts spreading it gives a different kind of symptoms and the, in the ticks the hairs you can see a, a loss of blood and the dog will start to behave lethargic and you can see feel like there can be a little bit of something going on in the dog's body internally but the hair loss may not be prominent in the state but the itching will be very prominent however on the infection the hair might start to go off and uh, it can create patches all around the body and that will be because of some sort of infection that's happening from in the dog and if that happens make sure to go and tell that particular symptom to the doctor or from where you're taking the medicine the third way is skin disease now many dogs also get skin disease and because of that all of the hair can be lost it may start off by any kind of parasite or it can be start off by any kind of infection but eventually it spreads so much that it becomes irreversible during that time it becomes very difficult that you uh, to completely cure the dog however it's not like you should lose all of the hope there are a few treatments that can be done during that time that can recover if not all at least 50 to 60 percent of the dog's hair that is possible however uh, most of the time though those street dogs or those dogs goes untreated and they actually lose all of their hairs and that's a very big problem this is a skin disease is also not uh, something that should be taken lightly and so you should always visit a doctor in the skin disease also have some sort of similar symptoms the hair will, hair will start to come off from different kind of places and hair will also start thinning so if you notice that they, they are losing their hair from their head around their body and the hairs around his body or her body is actually getting pretty thin then you should immediately visit a doctor because it's possible that your the infection is affecting the uh, dog or maybe the skin disease has already started if if it is spotted during the early times then it can be stopped and reversed however during the later stages it becomes very really difficult to cure it because um, during that time the almost most of the hair will be gone so it will be really difficult to completely cure the dog from it if the uh, is if if, even with the medicines and even with a good amount of treatment so it's really important to identify and get your dog treated on time and not to let it be just passed by just because as a simple itching now these are some of the reasons that creates a problem for the most of the dogs and it usually occurs because of the unhealthy habits that these street dogs have they go to different kind of places they where they shouldn't there are different kind of worms that can infest them that go inside their body and from that's the reason they what they whatever food they eat that can also be one of the cause they can have different kind of reason that can create this kind of problem within the body some of them are internal and some of them are external however you need to go to a proper doctor if any kind of this itching symptoms comes up with your dog and make sure it gets treated on time now it may not always be possible to do so because like the street dogs is not always possible however telling the symptoms is more than enough to actually get the, your dog some decent treatment but if the if you're telling the symptoms is not working then it's always recommended to check your dog to uh, take your dog to some veterinary before it's too late and then the doctor will actually look at the uh, your pet dog and then give the right treatment needed for that now there are kind of different kind of stages like i mentioned before so the, you have to identify in, uh, you cannot identify it by yourself what stage the disease is so let your uh doctor do it another also fourth thing that i would like to say is the food now the different kind of foods are there that can also lead to hair fall of dogs like oily foods and this kind of things actually leads to hair fall in dogs so they cannot digest it and they create some sort of reaction in their body and that's create a different kind of problem although you will see that the dog is eating it quite happily but that's not good for their body so don't give them oily foods because those kind of things can create a reaction in their body and they will start losing hair however the dog may not actually start itching immediately but it will they will start losing hair then hair will start thinning now if you are feeding them that food the oily food most of the time then know that can be one of the reason and along with that if, if your dog starts itching then make sure to get the, your dog treated because it's not something you should take lightly so that's it for this video i hope you find your answer from this video if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to click on the like comment and subscribe button uploading two videos every single week there is a monday and friday so don't forget to click on the subscribe button notification bell Thank you.